Hello out there in camera world. Michael from Fujifilm North America here. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about something new from Fujifilm that was designed to help connecting with your friends in the business world and your family friends a little bit simpler. Uh, I think a good way to illustrate would be for me to cut to another camera angle right now. I'll be right back. Okay, we've changed angles a little bit lower. And if you look closely at the frame, you'll see, well, there's something different about it. So the video quality is definitely different, okay? And that's because I'm coming to you from inside a recorded web conference. Okay, yeah, so what? Ah, but the camera I'm looking at is a Fujifilm X-T3. Yeah, a Fujifilm X-Series camera being used as a webcam. That's the new thing. Awesome, right? And in case you're thinking I'm faking it, well, I have another camera over here on the left. Hello. That's recording the whole thing over my shoulder, showing you that it's happening in real time. And you, hopefully you can see my X-T3 mounted just above it. All right. Well, we simply call that Fujifilm X webcam. Uh, and it's something that you can get from our website, www.fujifilm-x.com. And it'll be under Products, Software and it's 100% free. But what does it do? It lets you use all GFX cameras and uh, a handful of uh, X-Series cameras directly with your Windows 10 computer inside a webcasting or web conferencing software. So uh, the Fujifilm uh, software is really just an installer. You're gonna uh, download it, click through a couple of things, and once it's uh, set up the communication protocol between the camera and the computer, there's nothing further for you to do except for you to launch the uh, web uh, casting uh, software of your choice. Uh, we support the most popular ones, and again, they're going to be on the website there. So, um, you know, we've been using these things for years, and, you know, they get the job done, but they have some problems, at least as far as I'm concerned. So uh, the exposure bounces around, the white balance bounce, bounces around, um, the sensors in those things are really, really tiny, which means in low light, they're very noisy, grainy, okay? And um, my biggest gripe about them is almost all of them have this really wide angle of view, okay? I'm sure you know what you mean, because you know what I mean, because you probably have used the one built into your laptop a lot, right? So you see the entire room around you. Well, that's not fun. If you want to sort of present yourself as a portrait, you need to get really close to the camera. And we all know how distorted our faces get when we get really close to a lens. It's not cool. So uh, having the ability to use a camera where you could set uh, the focal length of your choice by cho choosing lenses is a really great benefit. Or being able to set exposure manually or being able to set the white balance manually is going to lock the picture in so it looks really, really pretty. Uh, so uh, a couple of tech things, again, most of the details are going to be on the website, are that your camera is technically going to be running in tethered mode, so you'll put it in uh, USB tether auto. Um, and what that means is as soon as the camera and the computer uh, connect to each other, whatever settings you have on the camera are going to be locked in. So uh, if you want autofocus, we suggest putting the camera in single autofocus and turning on something called the pre-AF. Uh, of course, you could do auto ISO and auto exposure and that kind of stuff, but uh, I actually think it's better to lock in your exposure manually with the shutter speed and f-stop set to where you want it. So that's really cool. Uh, the resolution coming out of the camera is going to be something called XGA, which is 1,024 pixels across. So it's in between standard def and high def. And the frame rate is approximately 24 frames a second, uh, depending on your USB um, and your computer hardware itself. 
Uh, now, the other thing I should point out is, even though technically the camera is being tethered, this is not uh, what you call normal tethered photography. So you can't use this as a way to capture stills and go directly to your hard drive or record movies directly to your hard drive. This will only work inside of a web conferencing application. Okay, so thanks for joining me. Get out there and have fun. Bye.